What are you doing out so late, little mouse? Me? I like the night. How sweet. Sure, you can walk me home. Why don't you come a little closer? Careful there, sweetheart. You seem dizzy. Are you sure I'm the one who needs protecting? Here, why don't you take my arm? Easy now. Walk with me. Yes, I do live near here. Why? Were you expecting someplace nicer? Oh, it looks like the moon finally came out. My eyes? What about my eyes? They're... beautiful. Hmm. Not what I thought you would say. Well, we're here. No, it isn't home. But that wasn't where I wanted to go. I wanted you here. Alone. Where no one calls the police when they hear a scream. But she won't scream, will you, sweetheart? No, you'll be nice and calm for me. And I promise it won't hurt when I sink my fangs into you. I think you'll like it. Shh. I'm not going to kill you, little mouse. I'm not starving. You'll wake up in this alley tomorrow morning. Dazed and short a pint or two of blood. You won't remember this, but you'll be just fine. I'll even keep watch until sunrise to make sure no one hurts you while you're asleep. Isn't that nice of me? Now just relax and let me... Come again? You want to spend eternity with me. That's quite a commitment for a first date. You aren't special, sweetheart. You're just easy prey. Tell me, why exactly would I want to turn you into a vampire? You're bored. So? What does that have to do with me? You think I'm bored? Maybe. Two hundred years is an awfully long time. And I'll admit, it's easy to slip into certain... patterns. But I would rather be bored than angry or hunted or dead. One has to consider these things when they choose a companion. Besides, I'm not really sure I'm interested in being anyone's sire. I've never been the motherly type. You never did answer me, little mouse. Why were you wandering the streets at night? You were looking for me. Ah, someone like me. Something that goes bump in the night. Are you a wannabe monster hunter or something? You're a monster enthusiast. Cute. Not all monsters are as nice as I am, you know? You could have been killed. Doesn't that frighten you? You're an odd one. No, I'm not going to turn you into a vampire. How about you look into my eyes for a minute? And we can go back to the part where you're too dazed to talk. Yes, of course I have a cell phone. Why does that surprise you? I'm living my life, not running a haunted house. I don't care if it's on theme. Do you know how inconvenient it is living without a smartphone nowadays? Okay, sure. Here's my phone. Let me get this straight. You're giving me your number so that I can call you in a couple of months when I get thirsty and get to know you better. I've never had a thrall before. Frankly, I've never particularly wanted one. My phone, please. Great. K. 
Can I drink your blood now? Can you drink my blood? Why would you want to? A shrug is not an answer. Forget it. Give me your hand. Because I am going to drink from your wrist. Because I prefer it. Because it's less personal. Yes, I could bite your throat if I wanted to. I don't want to. One more word and I will break your neck. Much better. I don't like it when my food talks back. Now be a dear and hold still. Hey guys, shout out to Stormy who just sent in my first listener donation on Kofi. If you ever want to buy me a coffee or Kofi, the link is always in the description. Thank you to anybody who considers this. Also, fun fact, the vampire bite that closes out this video is a combination of a rattlesnake and some guy biting into a steak.